I'm gonna get the clip. No, no. I'm gonna get the clippers. All right, the queen is right. It has been a lot. Yes, it has. Yes, it has. It's because of the weather, it's because of more people having bees, it's because of more people having them not to respond to bees. Ready? Okay. Go. Get ready? Oh, got it. Go! You alright? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They lit my hands up. Ooh. Could have told me. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. 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 I got like 10 in my hands. Thank you. should have been down here. I'm on Hoyt and Rubber 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 Street in Brooklyn. What's the name of the street? Skimmerhorn. 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 And we just picked up one of the biggest swarms that Tony or I have ever seen. How big was it? How big was it? It was seven pounds. Okay. Miss Reporter Lady, you should have come down here and asked them and seen them. I gave you the chance. I cannot do I cannot do it all. I can get the beast, but I can't write the story. Let's see. At any given time, honeybees now outnumber New Yorkers by at least two to one. Or I should say New York City honeybees now outnumber New Yorkers by at least two to one. End quote said Andrew Cote, C O T E Oxante Gu on the E. Pre President, pre well, hey, listen, Kate, you'd be surprised how many people botch my surname, and it makes my grandmother upset. S President of the New York City Beekeepers Association, an all around nice guy. Usually people say that about me. That's what they say, Kate. They say, what kind of guy is he? He's a nice guy. Well, thank you very much <laughs> for all of this information. You're welcome. I, I must get back to my story, so um, I will talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.